Like, talk about that. Like, how were your parents, like, how do you think you were able to get that mentality and not kind of have that, like, you know, spoiled mentality where, like, everything, you know what I'm saying, that you have is or everything that you want is given to you type of thing? No. So, like I said, like, I was financially independent by the age of, like, 13, 14. Right. So, it was, like, what started for me was, like, the shoes. So, yeah. like, they gave me one shoe a year. Yeah. So, I was, like, why just have one when you can – when I can just buy anything I want? So, I was yeah. always, like – I'm going to just buy my own stuff, like, end up being financially independent. So that that's what motivated me. I, I don't think it was their intention for just getting me one pair of shoes a year mm-hmm. for me to start reselling shoes. But I feel like everything, there's a reason for everything. Yeah. And, like, there's boundaries that parents set, yeah. people set, and then that makes you learn and want to go out and do your yeah. own thing. Yeah, right. So, like, you would say that, like, your parents, like, even though they did have the means to do it, like, mm-hmm. they didn't do it. Like, do you think, like, you think there was, like, they did they didn't give you that stuff or only allowed you to have one pair of shoes I mean, because they were trying to like teach you to be grateful and to make your own thing for yourself or so they never justified spending like a hundred bucks on a pair of shoes they're like you can just go gotcha. to ross go get them for 10 bucks that's where i got all my shoes from yeah. like originally like when i would go to school but um yeah, uh, yeah that's basically it like that's what motivated me to yeah. go out my own way it's not like they never wanted to give me anything like, right it's just because like honestly it was my drive and mm-hmm. I told them, I'm like, I'm going to get it myself instead of you having to do it yeah. for me. Yeah. yeah, that's good. I mean, a lot of kids, you know what I'm saying, aren't like that. Like, mm-hmm. you know, a lot of kids, especially, like, if their parents have made a way for themselves, you know, have, like, they kind of can take advantage of it, you know what I'm saying? And you, a lot of times it's the parents that usually, like, will mold them and, like, kind of shape them and put them in the direction of, like, yo, look, you're going to have to work for it and stuff. But mm-hmm. that's cool that, like, you kind of just had that from already just from a young age. It's yeah, just, like... You just didn't want your parents to, like, do this stuff for you and stuff. Mm-hmm. But that leads me to another point because with that, like, a lot of people do, they may look at you, and I'm probably sure that you've probably heard, like, or, like, seen about, even if it's not about yourself or about mm-hmm. other people that you may know where it's like, oh, their parent, that kid's probably, like, parents probably does everything for him. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? A lot of people know that you're well off, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, how do you deal with, like, people that are saying that, you know what I'm saying? And, like, how do you kind of view that situation? I'm just grateful for my family and yeah. my situation. But right. I would never want to want to take their money or anything because yeah. that's what they work for. And yeah. Basically, anyone that's known me from a young age knows that I, I started my own stuff. Right, and that's yeah. not really, like, your kind of spirit and stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. I don't mind anyone saying that. Like, I totally understand if you think, yeah. like, you see a kid that grew up uh, grew up pretty well off, and mm-hmm. seeing them start a business, like, of course you would hate. Like, yeah. There's no point. Like, I get it. But in, in my opinion, bro, like, that's never made sense to me because at the end of the day, is that not what we want? You know what I mean? Like, I, for me, like, I want to be able to give my kid a head start. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I don't want my kid to have to worry. Like, I want my kid to be able to sell shoes, make his money, and save his money and do what he wants yeah. with it. I don't want my kid to have to sell shoes so that way he can eat tonight or so that way mm-hmm. he can help daddy and mom pay the bills. You know what I mean? Like, I want to have, like, a life to where my kid has the advantages. My kid has a little bit of, you know what I'm saying, head start compared mm-hmm. to, like, a lot of other parents that didn't take the time to do that. Like, and I feel like that's the fucking goal. Like, so it always kind of like, it bothers me whenever you do hear people like say things like that about people that like, especially whenever they don't really know them, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Like they don't know like what kind of person they are, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, if you're like an ungrateful little brat, then you know what I'm saying? Then it don't really matter, you know, yeah. but like someone like you, you know what I'm saying? Who like, who you've done it yourself, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? You've taken your own route. But then you have to have people that, like, think that, like, it's all done off, like, the backs of your mom and dad, whatever, really, it's been your own So what work. I think about this whole situation is if you are parent-funded necessarily and you build your own legacy with it, mm-hmm. you can thank your parents, but at the end of the day, you're the one that put in the word. I'm not saying – that that's not my story. I'm talking about for other people that right. people, like, talk trash about. But right. Yeah, at the end of the day, there's kids that that their parents are millionaires and billionaires, and they're they're just sleeping in bed all day, not doing anything with their life. But if you're going to go and make a way out of whatever your parents gave you, and you're going to start your own business, that's showing improvement that you want to work for your own things. Yeah. Yeah.